Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Pancake Tuesday is today, so I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks to help you make the perfect crisps. So for the crepe batter, we're going to start melting our butter. We're going to make a butter rosette that's going to give a wonderful hazelnut flavour to the crepes. It will also prevent it from sticking to the pan. So you're just going to place the pan over low heat and slowly melt the butter. You don't want to do this too quickly. So just give the butter a quick stir to stop it catching on the bottom of the pan. So while we're waiting for the butter to come to a burn rosette stage and it's caramelised brown colour, we're going to sort out the rest of the butter. So in a medium sized bowl, combine together two eggs along with some milk. Now you're going to give it a good whisk together to make sure all the eggs are broken up and it's nice and smooth. Then last but not least, season it with a bit of salt. You always need salt in everything. It improves the flavour. Next, you want to sift in the flour, that's to get rid of all the lumps, which will make a much smoother bath. Now we'll that all together until it's nice and smooth. Now as you can see, the butter is ready to use. It's nicely caramelised. If you didn't want to use burn or set, well, you can easily substitute with just melted butter and just whisk it into the butter. And let's get some clean film, rub it, tighten it. Alright guys, now you're going to place this butter into the fridge for at least half an hour. Let's get improve the flavour and texture. Resting your butter is a very important step when it comes to making amazing crepes. Now the butter is fully rested. As you can see, the butter has separated, but that's totally fine. Just whisk it like normal, and it should come together nicely. Now I'm just going to pour it over a jug, because I find it easier that way. All right, now let's make some crepes. The secret to a good crepe, make sure your pan is nice and hot. Because your pan's not hot enough, you won't get that nice color. It'll be really pale though. So first, preheat your pan over medium high heat. So here, I've got a mixture of 50-50 butter and oil. The butter's there for flavour, and the oil is there to stop the butter from burning. So I'm just going to lightly grease the pan. Don't add too much, because then the crepe will be really soggy. Make sure it's greased all over though, so it doesn't stick. So when you add the butter, you want to hear a sizzle. That's a sign that the pan's hot enough. Like that. Now quickly rotate the pan to spread the butter across the whole base of the pan. Now you're just going to let that cook. Don't touch it. You want the edges to go a nice, light, golden brown colour. You see how it's going a light golden brown on the edges? That's when you know it's ready to flip. That is what you call a crepe. The first, this, this batter is very delicate. I wouldn't recommend trying to flip them. If you, if you attempt to flip it, it'll probably fly away or something. And flop on your floor. It only takes about 30 seconds to the other side. Just look at that, man. Wow. Now that's it. Now that's the practice run, done. Let's do the real thing. Just make sure it's nicely coated. You don't want a tooth, you don't want a tooth thick, obviously, like I said before. Tilt the pan, don't hesitate. Tilt. Let that cook. I'm gonna do a classic Nutella. It's my favorite cup, by means. Do whatever you want. Do, do your favorite filling. If your favorite filling is crepe I've made a video on it. Check out top right hand corner. I'll show you how to make the most delicious crepe suzette. Now once again, you see how it's gone golden brown? That's when you know it's ready. Now flip, woo! I like to put the Nutella on whilst the crepe is in the pan, finishing off. So then it melts and it's wonderful. So I'm gonna place the dollop of Nutella on the bottom left hand corner. Now I just like to leave the Nutella there to warm through so it melts. Flip it over, press it down, spread it right in the corners, fold it again. Now just let that cook for about a minute or so to let the Nutella melt and the crepe to caramelize beautifully. Now flip, look at that. Wow. And that, my friends, is how you make a crepe. Now I like to finish it off with a dusting of icing sugar. It makes it look pretty. And there you have it. That's how you make a classic, delicious French crepe. Cooked to perfection. Thin, crispy, wow. It smells incredible. Hope you try this crepe recipe out. It is the real deal. Packed full of flavor, nice and crispy exterior. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, like always. And I'll see you guys next week. See ya. So let's try this, shall we? Oh, the teller oozing out. It's like a fondant in a crepe. Oh.